The Greek parliament approves the austerity measure. So what is next? The deal's Laura Bohr joins us from London with that and more. Laura. Thanks, Jen. Yes, we've got the German parliamentary vote tomorrow. That's widely seen to be a shoe in We've also got a European Central Bank policy meeting today. All the eyes and all the attention of investors here will be on what support they're going to extend to Greece's desperate lenders. They're announcing a policy decision at quarter to two Frankfurt time, followed by a press conference three quarters of an hour later. The Greek news has lifted Eurozone indices. In talking of individual stocks, Tele Columbus of Germany is up sharply this morning on announcing a $7 million odd purchase of Primacom. The deal will unite Germany's third largest cable company with the number four. And in very good news for Tele Columbus, the German Federal Competition Authority has come out and said the transaction definitely won't need antitrust approval because of the revenue threshold of the two companies. In corporate news in London, Anglo-American, the world's number five miner, has slipped on news of a write-down in the first half that could total $4 billion. We'll learn more with its first half results next week. But Anglo-American has said that the write-down will include yet another cut on the valuation of its Minas Rio iron ore project in Brazil. And Laura, the Asian Development Bank's making news as well. What's going on there? That's right. The ADB has lowered its growth forecast for developing Asia because U.S. and Chinese growth hasn't panned out quite as it forecast. It's also cut its forecast for China um, to 7% this year, down from 7.2% that it expected as of March and 6.8% next year. But India remains intact. It's powering ahead. The ADP is saying it will grow 7.8% this year, followed by 8.7% next year. And that was Laura Board with The Deal in London.